yes oh a blessed good morning to you trinidad and tobago and all those of you wherever you are this morning as the song says god raises us up to be more than we can be we thank god for the privilege of sharing your space this monday morning as we continue to communicate thoughts from heaven this is the name of our program we're from the house of friends of jesus international and our program is entitled communicating thoughts from heaven and we just want to say a special good morning to Mr. Bean, who is Whoa, always with us. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> he's alive and well. And he's being paid. <laughs> and he's being paid. <laughs> oh, and a blessed good morning to you, wherever you're listening from this morning. Thank you for allowing us into your space. Thank you for allowing us the privilege of being able to communicate with you this morning. And to our assembly, Friends of Jesus International, our members, a good morning to you all. This morning with me, we have Pastor Margaret who's all decked off in her purple this morning. <laughs> and we have Prophet Sandy, who's in his bronze gold, gold and black. <laughs> I'm giving you all a visual picture this morning. <laughs> oh, we just thank God that he continues to allow us the privilege of being able to hear his voice, hear his mind, hear his heart, as he continues to direct us in the path that he wants us to go. And it's always good for us to be directed in the path of God, because his path for us is the best path. His part for us would ensure that we are led safely, we are led securely, we are led exactly where he wants us to be in every season and every time of our lives. So I trust that this morning as we continue to hear more word from the Lord that we would continue to remain on that path and treasure all that God says to us. Amen. Oh yes, amen. Yeah. But as we, you know, purple and gold and bronze, they're all symbols of royalty. Yeah. So yeah. you're yeah. making a powerful yeah. this morning, sir. So. <laughs> Mr. Bean, good morning to you. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> morning, Mr. Bean. <laughs> and good morning to all of those of you who are locked in on the program. It really is wonderful for us to come in on a Monday morning and just to be with you, sharing your space, as Prophet Anthony says, and listening, listening to learn, listening to be able to uh, translate all that we hear into our lives let it become our lifestyle let it really tailor because it was really made to tailor our walk let it change our walk let it allow us to grow and blossom and bloom in that place that god has set aside for us it is a wonderful place to be it is an awesome place to be it's it is the only place to be so we give god thanks this morning as we allow him to lead we are here to follow and we stay within the boundaries of the word that he would release to us. Yes. Amen. Grace and peace to you, Trinidad and Tobago. Again, it's a pleasure to be with you this morning. It's a wonderful day today, a blessed day, a day that the Lord has made, and we will continue to rejoice and be glad in this wonderful day. We want to just take this time to say to our Father, thank you for allowing us to be here as vessels and us coming here, getting up in the morning. Sometimes we get one hour sleep, some two hours, some get eight hours, 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a joy to be here. And I'm leaving here, you know, we were just sharing that on Monday. Every time we leave, there's such a joy and a happiness to have, you know, being a vessel, an instrument of instruments in the hand of the Lord to do what he requires of us. And it's really a pleasure, it's a wonderful thing. And to him be the glory, and so we honor the King of heaven, yes. the ruler of the nations of the earth, yes. the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. He yes. alone is God, the ruler yes. Yes. of all the nations, the architect of our souls, yes. the one who created everything by the power of his word. There is only one God, yes. the creator of the heavens and the earth. Yes. And his beauty is seen in his character, his goodness, his mercy, his love, yes. his care, his justice, his judgment. All of it comes from the justice of his person, yes. the rightness of God. Yes. God is always right. Yes. Even when we don't understand the things that he says, he is always right. Yes. And so to him be glory and Thank honor. You. We yes. lift him above Thank all other gods, yes, all Lord. people. Yes. Everything that he has made, he is superior to them all. Yes, yeah, he's superior to them all. Let me say that again. 
He is superior yes, to everything yes, yes, he has yes. made yes. in the heavens and in the earth. Yes. And none can mm. surpass him. He is God. Yes. The I best, love. most powerful, and most wonderful. You know what? To all those who have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, he is your Father. Yes. As it is written, mm -hmm. as many as receive him, Jesus Christ, and paraphrasing, to them he gave the right to become children of God. Yes. You have become a child of God as a result of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Outside of which you are just God's creation. Mm -hmm. But to be a part of the family, he has provided a way. Yes. And it is through Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We yes, honor Lord. you this morning. We bless your name. Yes, yes. Lord. We thank you for the wonderful privilege you've afforded us to be here. Lord, we thank you for your thoughts that you communicate through your servants, Lord, and communicating to the people. Thank you for the responsibility you've given to us. Yes, thank you for the wisdom and the grace. Lord, you embody all of these things, and all that we need to function in the earth is in you. And thank yes, you, Lord, for your goodness. In ourselves, by ourselves, we can do nothing yes, that is of worth. But Lord, when we follow your instructions, worth comes because yes. your words and whatever you say in your directions they are worthy yes. thank you father thank because you. you are worthy yes lord. so that you be honor and pray yes lord. power strength yes. and dominion yes. thank yes. you for leading yes. us this morning you, for directing us you yes. know what is needed lord yes. and we thank you for your thoughts yes we thank you for your thoughts thank you, lord. blessed be his name well 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 last week monday we shared with you what the Spirit of the Lord um, spoke to us about in regard to Trinidad and Tobago. And so we felt like we would have covered that. And um, we were looking forward to move on to whatever his thoughts are. But I'm reminded that it is his thoughts. <laughs> we are here to share, not ours. <laughs> so uh, last night when he began, well, more or less this morning, well, you can say last night, when he began to speak to me about uh, one of the things that he wants to talk to us about, uh, my first my initial thought was well lord we we covered that last last week well i have to remember that um, it is his thoughts okay and not what i think is needed or what he know is needed so he began to give some understanding based on the prayer that is rising before him from here in Trinidad and Tobago the church have prayed and have been praying um, and have great concern about many things that we are seeing around about us. And so I felt as if what he said um, to me to share with you this morning is in response to that, the cry, the prayer that is rising before him. And last week I did mention to you, we told you that um, the Lord being the architect has already designed things, set things in the earth, set things in Trinidad and Tobago. And so we ended off uh, with such a joy, uh, you know, knowing that all things are in his hands. So this is what he wants me to communicate to you this morning. Having heard the prayer of his people, he said, Do not worry about Trinidad and Tobago. Don't worry about Trinidad and Tobago. He didn't say don't pray. He didn't say, don't do what you're supposed to do. He said, don't worry. That's a whole different ballgame. See? Um, because worrying is a sin, really. So he says, don't worry. Don't worry about Trinidad and Tobago. The destiny of the nation has been set from eternity. Mm -hmm. So, again, please hear this. Do not worry about Trinidad and Tobago. The destiny of the nation has been set from eternity. All the circumstances designed to bring her, that's Trinidad and Tobago, into full maturity has been set. All the circumstances that is designed to bring her into full maturity has been set. So God uses circumstances or he works in them. That's what he's saying to us. Please understand this. All the circumstances. He said, the nation is going through a process of development. The nation is going through the process of development. The circumstances that she faces 
will not make her weak. They are designed to make her strong and equip her to fulfill her destiny. Let me say this again. This is important. The circumstances that she faces will not make her weak. They are designed to make her strong and equip her to fulfill her destiny. Highlighting her weaknesses is not a sign of failure, but to reveal what needs to be strengthened in her, he says. Let me repeat that again. Highlighting her weaknesses is not a sign of failure, but to reveal what needs to be strengthened in her. Therefore, when her weaknesses are exposed, it is for the purpose of showing what needs to be strengthened. Let me repeat that again. Therefore, when her weaknesses are exposed, it is for the purpose of showing what needs to be strengthened. So he says, Do not be afraid, O nation, for I am in the midst of you. Let me say this again. <laughs> Do not be afraid, O nation, for I am in the midst of you. He says, You may wonder why certain things have not yet stopped. It's because I am working in the midst of your circumstances. I am working in the midst of your circumstances. I am working in the midst of your circumstances. I repeat, I am working in the midst of your circumstances. And I am preparing you for the purpose for which I have designed you, declares the Spirit of the Lord. So, this is what the Lord said. And all the prayers that went up before him, this is what he wants us to know as a nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And it's amazing because God already knew what he has in mind. And he has a clear picture of the destiny of the nation. And he knows exactly what is happening, when it should happen. Uh, he knows. He's God. And so oftentimes the Lord tells us um, the end, but he seldom reveals the process that leads to the end. It's like the Lord gave Joseph a dream. And Joseph saw in a dream he was standing in a certain position and the sun and the moon and the stars bowing down to him. He saw the end. He didn't see the process. And so... That dream, even though his father interpreted the dream accurately by saying to him, are you saying, because obviously the sun bowing is a planet, the moon is a planet, but the Lord showed him that, and the, the sun, moon, and the stars are dimensions of, of authority. So the father interpreted accurately by saying, are you saying that myself, your mother, and your brothers will be bowing to you? And I thought, wow, what a revelation he had. Because uh, him being the father, the authority, the mother, the authority, and the brothers, because he was the last of them. But he saw the end. He would be in a place of authority where um, his siblings, his father, and his, his brothers, and so would be bowing to him. But the process he didn't see. And when you examine the process that led to that place, it was inhumane to look at from a human point of view the things that he would have gone through and from the person that he suffered those things from from you know those person who was supposed to be protecting him were the ones who were a part of the process and in all of that that he went through god was working all things out he could not have died in the pit because there was a destiny awaiting him led away being sold into egypt as a slave he was on his way to destiny, being ripped, as it were, from his father's side in such a painful way, an agonizing way. His father wept, having lost him. Brothers lied and said that a beast uh, ripped him to shreds, and what we have is blood stain on his clothes. They, they, they you know, make up that line. Father, brokenhearted, wept. And here was his son, driven to destiny, 
going through a process that does not look like God. Nothing about it look like God. And you see, that's the problem with us. When we begin to go through certain things, oftentimes, we can't, because it's dark, we can't see the end of the tunnel. But in that moment, he was driven to destiny, going through a process that was painful. At one point, he was lied upon, um, being thrown into prison. All of that was preparation for when the time was right. He stood in that place, having gone through the process and became what he saw. The end that he saw, he went through the process, but the end came and he fulfilled that prophecy. Now, when God speaks to us, oftentimes that's what he does. He tells you, he gives you the picture of the end. But when you begin to go through the process, what he said about you doesn't seem anything like that. It's like night and day. God said this, but <laughs> I can't see how this is adding up. That's all. You remain faithful to God. You don't have to see how it's going to add up. <laughs> it is not for you to see how it's going to add up. The architect already knows the, the addition. <laughs> he already orchestrated the whole event of things. He already put the people, the geographical location, allow the situation, the circumstances to mold in you and shaped you into what he is designing to be. And when we understand uh, the hand of the master as the as the potter and the clay and how he forms it into what he has in his mind and the process that the the the, the clay goes through in order to present this beautiful vessel that everybody wants to buy understand that God is at work so when he said to us as he told us this morning he's working in the midst of our circumstances certain things we've been praying for and he did not give a detail as to what those things are but the things we've been praying for and wondering, why isn't this thing stop? I mean, why can't this thing stop? Why is this thing still going on? Because we're praying, Lord, we're praying, but it's not stopping. He said, I am working in the midst of your circumstances. So he's not sleeping. So we should no longer say, God, open your eyes. Open your eyes, Lord, and look and see. Understand, he saw. He knew he is at work. And he tells us, do not worry about Trinidad and Tobago. Destiny, its destiny has already been set. And uh, the process that would lead to the fulfillment of what is designed for the nation has already been set. And the circumstances we're concerned about, whatever those circumstances are, he wants us to know that uh, he's working in the midst of us. And he wants us to know when the weak things, our weakness, is uh, exposed, it is not a sign of failure. <laughs> oh my God. This is just like God to do this. It is not a sign of failure, but it's to show what needs to be strengthened in the nation. And so when we see the weak things, don't make the weak things seem like there's some total of the destiny of Trinidad and Tobago. Understand that they're designed to show, okay, this needs to be fixed. So it comes to light. So the things that he would allow to come to light it needs to be fixed because all of that is a part of preparing us to have the type of the type of um, um, stamina. I don't want to use this word that we need to have uh, to be able to accomplish all the things that God has destined for us. So when the things have been highlighted, don't use that as all of Trinidad. This is oh my gosh, oh, yeah. no, I understand. Okay, they come to the surface, and he said they're highlighted for the purpose of strengthening what is weak, and so. Thank, we want to thank God for that understanding. And again, just to let us know, this is God. He knows exactly what he is doing. And I tell you how this happened. Um, we had some uh, visitor over. And so we're in the midst of uh, um, there with the visitor and, and doing some things. And um, the Lord said to me, come aside. And in the midst of what I was doing, I just asked for excuse. I had to leave immediately. And I just left, head up to the the bedroom knelt down okay lord i'm here again praying and praying talking to him and then he said now this is what i want to say to the people tomorrow um concerning the nation and it, it's amazing to have heard him uh communicating this to us today so that we we would rest and we'll understand again and should understand that the lord again he knows all things and he's orchestrated you know i was I'm, i was amazed looking at uh the passage where the Lord spoke to Abraham and um, even before he had a child God spoke to him about 
uh, this foreign land that he would be in and, and, and what would happen. Um, so th it is found in Genesis, I think it is Genesis chapter, uh, let me see what it is, 18, is it? Uh, 15, yeah, 15. And reading from verse 12. Yeah, Genesis 15, reading from verse 12. Now, when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham. And behold, horror and great darkness fell upon him. Then he, as the Lord, said to Abraham, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs and will serve them and they will afflict them 400 years. See that precisely? How much years? 400 years. And also the nation who they serve, I will judge. Afterward, they shall come out with great possessions. And in verse 16 it said, But in the fourth generation, in the fourth generation, they shall return here, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. So, before he had a child, your descendants, 400 years, they're going to be in a, in a foreign land. They are going to be in a foreign land, and they're going to be afflicted for 400 years. When the process of that fulfillment begin to happen, Joseph is the one who led the charge. But the way in which they were going to get into the, the foreign land, Joseph had the dream of what he will become. But the process that began the purpose of God happening in that foreign land, it was amazing. It began with Joseph being positioned there first. But having gone through the process that he went through to become what he became, then followed the famine and the brothers going down to Egypt and then suddenly recognizing that Joseph was not dead and he was in a very high position and called for his family and came down. And so they got some of the best lands and the, 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 the prime minister at that time, uh, because of Joseph, who Joseph was, um, gave them much things and they began prospering there. And at about 30 years or so, they were doing well. And after Joseph died by then, they multiplied and they became a great nation, very powerful there. And the, the others felt threatened by them. And so the persecution started. And the, slavery began and they began to enslave them because they figured they were they're rising up they come becoming too strong they're going to take over the land so let, let's oppress them <clears throat> but all of that god knew and 400 years of oppression that's plenty mm -hmm. 400 years but god knew the time frame and he knew when it's going to end and he knew what generation was coming out and coming to the land that he spoke to abraham about long before abraham had any children see now, the, the amazing thing, I'm saying that to say how important it is for us to understand uh, the wisdom of God, that He is all-knowing. He knew all those things before and shared it with His servant. In the same way, God knows everything concerning the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. He knows everything concerning your life. He knows everything about everything, and He has perfect knowledge about everything. And the perfect wisdom about everything so it's only him can tell us what is because he knows what is and he has orchestrated what is us we are limited in our understanding and we would not know what he has done unless he reveals it to us unless he reveals it to us if he doesn't reveal it to us we don't know and so oftentimes because we aren't able to see what he saw and what he knows we find ourselves worrying because all that we see and as far as we can see, it seems hopeless to us, but not with God. So when he speaks to us, uh, one of the things we must understand, his words are designed to encourage us, to let us know this is not the end. Don't worry. When he said don't worry, because he had already set everything in motion. He said, but God, he said not to worry, but look at this. But he knew all of that before you even saw it. Before you even knew something like this was going to happen, he knew all about that. And if he tells you don't worry, it's because he has everything under control. So whatever instruction he gives from here on, follow those instructions, do what he said. Whatever instruction he gives, it is leading to a path that he has already carved out. This is how God operates. This is how God operates. 
So when he tells you to do something, just do what he says. Because he knows that once you follow the instructions given, it is going to lead to a designed end. He's the designer. And he knows where it's going to lead. So don't wonder, okay, one step here, what is going to be next? Just listen for the instruction again and follow that. And once you do, you're going to end up in the path that has already been arranged by God. So in his wonderful wisdom, having heard the cry and the prayer that rose before him of all of us who are concerned about many things and, and, and don't have a clear understanding about all that is happening and crying out to God and, and for some of us, it's just, Lord, you know, and we, we pray the best way we know how to God and he hears and he wants you to know hey don't worry don't worry is he saying don't pray no he's not saying that but let our prayer now turn a different way in that we're saying Lord you have planned everything out for this land things we aren't even aware of you have allowed us to know certain things we don't know everything but you know everything teach us how to remain in agreement with you, to agree with you for those things you have destined to be manifested in the nation at specific time. Show us how to position ourselves accurately and to speak exactly what you are declaring to be manifested at, at a given time so that we will re remain in agreement with you and we would not pray amiss, but we will understand the administration of your dealings in the nation from generation to generation. Help us to understand. If you pray like that, surely, he is going to release into your heart understanding how to pray his will when he is declared one season has changed, another season has come. And in this season, this is what he's doing. So we raise our voices. Lord, we, we receive in the nation that which you have already orchestrated to be manifested at this time. We declare everything that will try to hinder it. We, we break its power. We command the hindrances to be, you know, and you deal with the things that will try to stop what he wanted to do. And say, so just Lord, we agree with you. So we call what heaven has decreed to be manifested in this land at this time. We say, let it be manifested. Let it take a hold. Let it spread. Let it advance. Let your yes. purposes run through on all the areas. Whatever He said is about that He's releasing. And so this in this praying in agreement with God brings us in a place of more peace because we understand that this is the operation of God. And this really reminded me of. Um, I'm trying to be as quick as I can um, because I know the ministers have to share uh, too. But um, I remember working for an organization and I remember during that time I was at uh, the head intercessor of that particular group. And I remember um, praying for that, that organization. And, and, and one time the Lord said to me, he says, Lima, understand this, that everything concerning this organization has already been arranged from eternity even before the person who heads this organization was born, this has been arranged. And there are things that I desire to release in the organization at specific times. It is not just what you feel and you think, okay, Lord, we need this. Lord, I pray, bring this in. He said, there are things that I've designed to release at certain times and season until the fullness of my purpose is accomplished in this organization. So what I want you to do is to agree with me agree with me my will my desires as opposed to what you think should happen in that intercessory meeting and those meetings i understood a lot about god's will god's purposes and so uh, having shared with the others what he told me in regard to that we began to channel our prayer in agreement with him and i was amazed to see how the lord orchestrated all of the events and how he tells he told us the things that was about to be manifested at specific time and we watched the things happening everything he said until a certain part you know in my time there with them how the lord brought everything to fullness step by step because he he allows us to understand that he has already he's the architect and so to us here in Toronto Tobago please understand this that the nation didn't just happen those of you who are in position of power, you know, understand that you, you, you didn't just arrive there. You were orchestrated. You were designed to do a specific thing in the land for a specific time. And to all of us, I'm here, we're here, us being here, we are doing our part. This is part of the things that we are designed to do in the plan of God. He took me from my little island of St. Vincent, the back of some bush there called Maho Village, <laughs> you know, brought me here. And not knowing what I'm here for, but just knowing I'm supposed to be here, loving this place more than any place on the planet. 
It's like, wow, you can't talk bad about your auntie big I'm up in your face. <laughs> you know, I thought, but what is this? What is this coming from? Where does this come from? Put a love in your heart for the nation. And then he began to reveal the purpose for which he placed you here. And so in his plan, all of this was arranged. And here we are here doing our part, letting you know that what you're seeing is not the end. The negativity is not the end. That the divine mind has orchestrated uh, a whole event to happen. Uh, in the land to bring the land to a place just as he, he, he declared a beacon to the nations of the earth but there's a process so he reminds us this morning that we're going through a process so be encouraged people don't be afraid don't worry just as he said if God said if God said yeah. don't worry <laughs> do not worry just again Ask him to help you how to pray effectively. And don't come bawling down the place. Oh, God. God. You see? No, he saw. And he knows. I, all right, I understand. Okay. Okay. Right? He saw. Right? He saw. And he just wants you to know that. So, uh, to us here, let praise arise. Let a, a song of thanksgiving be given to God. You are the architect, yeah. or king yes. of the universe, and we agree with you. And just let, just let, let us roll on with God. Wow. Isn't it like God, whenever he speaks and we become locked into his word? Now, for us, that is the key. Because God can speak and we could remain where we are, yes, becoming yes, so confused, yes. becoming more confused. Yes. But once we, be, once we become, sorry, locked into his word, then the shift takes place. That's and you know, probably even as you were sharing there, I saw the image of a puzzle, a large puzzle. Mm. And it is as if God was saying, we are at point A yes. and we are trying to pull Z wow. to match it with A. Wow. And he says, no, 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 the process. <laughs> That's Prophet it. mentioned the process. Yes, it yes, would not match. Yes, it cannot match with C. Yes, there are lots of pieces in, in this puzzle that, yes, that fit in between yes, yes. from A to Z. And those pieces are necessary. They may look dark, but they are necessary. Yes, because in those yes. places, we will learn so much. Yes, so much it. about God. That's so much right. about ourselves. So much about his plan for us. Yeah. In those places, we will be strengthened. Yes, in those yes, places, we will come yes. to where we will rely on God more and more. And that's what he's building that's in us. It, it. He says to us this morning, the nation is in good hands. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> he says to you and you and whoever else is listening, you are in good hands because you are locked into me, yes, God. Yes. That's what he's saying to us. So it means then that we are to make a decision. Okay, Lord, I've heard you, and I'm going to walk step by step yes. as you release your yes. word into yes. me. Because that's what we wait on. When we gather every Monday morning and we come into your space, it's so that we will get to hear together what he's saying, yes. and we will move together on this route. The master architect, wow. he has the approved plans. He already knows the route. He knows that's exactly it. where he's it. taking us. And guess what? It's to a better place. That's it. <laughs> so Always. do not begin to say, my God, this looks like death. So what? Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says to us, <laughs> don't fear. fear no evil. Don't, don't, fear. Fear. don't fear. Don't fear. No fear. Don't beat up. Don't beat up. Don't beat up. Yeah. Don't beat up. Don't beat up. Continue to keep our eyes on yes. him. Continue to hold on to him. He knows we are dealing with someone who knows. Yes. Oh, if yes, we get yes, that yes, in yes, us, yes. particularly when we are going through those dark places, yes, yes. he's teaching us to, to switch off the voices that are not in alignment Stay with his voice. With Stay in tune that's with it, him. It. Now, it's a decision we each have to make individually, and it's a decision we must make on an ongoing basis, moment by moment, as we move forward with him. Wow. So make that decision wow. again this morning wow. and make that decision to stay in him and stay in his word. Amen. Yes, and you know, it's so amazing that every Monday morning we begin the program by declaring what God has said concerning the nation. Yes. And you know, I, I'm reminded of a passage that says, 
I'm just paraphrasing that God knows the end. He declares the end from the from the beginning. And he says his counsel will stand and yes. he will do all of his pleasure. Yes. And once we keep that before us and we continue to declare all that he says, in the midst of everything that we see, in the midst of everything that we hear, we, we understand that, hey, God is going to do all of his pleasure. Yes. I, I just have to agree with him. I just have to align myself with his purposes and we will see all of his pleasure. And all of his pleasure is good. Even in the midst yes. of, of the things that we may see, the, the processes that may appear to be dark, as Pastor Margaret said, they're all leading up to a particular point. Yes. God's yes. will. Yes. And we, we cannot pray as it were to stop the process of God's will because he said it's going to be accomplished. It's going to be accomplished. His will is going to be accomplished. So we... we, we should buckle up as it will and stay the course and, and fix our minds on this fact that, hey, God is in control of everything that I see before me. Mm. Nothing is taking him by surprise. No yes. situation is yes. happening just by happenstance or it just it just happened to occur. No, all of this is a part of God's plan. Yes. So I'm going to agree with God. I'm going to align my prayers with his will. I'm going to, if I don't understand what his will is, I'm going to pray and ask, Lord, what is your will in the midst of this? Is this you? I, I want to agree with you. I want to agree. I want my prayers, my words, my everything actions, to align, yeah. my actions, everything to be aligned in accordance with your will so that I agree with you always in every situation that I see before me. I don't want to speak against what you are doing. I don't want to I don't want to go contrary to what you're doing and, and find myself, as it were, off the path. But I want to yes. make sure I stay right where you are. I don't want to miss what you're doing because it's so easy for us to miss what God is doing because we often think that God has to do it this particular way. Yes. He has to work in this way. He has to make this peace come at this point in time. But God says, hey, I'm going to do it my way. And yes. my way is the best way. Yes. My way yes. is the best way. It is It is the way that will ensure your strength. It is the, it is the way that will ensure your stability abilities the way i would ensure that you get to where you're supposed to be at the appointed time with the the right people in the right places all of these things god is working on behind the scenes if you can only get a glimpse of it that behind the scenes god is already positioning people to come with different solutions to come with different yeah. ideas yeah. for the times for the seasons just just imagine this that hey god already has people in mind that he has already downloaded wisdom into for the times and seasons that this nation would go through in every season and every yes. generation that people are already lined up they're already coming those who are now being born into yeah. the land they're coming they're coming they already loaded with destiny as it will and god i say hey i i i make i earmark that one to do this particular thing i earmark this one to do this particular thing and he's saying hey i just want you to agree with me i just want you to settle in your mind that hey I'm going to accomplish my will and I want your agreement. I want you to come into alignment with my desires. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may have your desires and how you think it should be, but your desires are not good enough. They can never match up. Yes. But my desires are the best thing that can happen to this nation, to your life, to, to any people and any generation. God's will is the best. So he yes. wants us to agree with him. Yes. <laughs> he wants us to stop the fighting. He wants us to stop the remove all the confusion that that may fill the mind and the the things that we may see that 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 pop, troubles us in in whatever way and he says i want you to focus on my will being accomplished yes, yes. in the midst of everything that you see just imagine that god would have would have done such a great work in the life of joseph but the process that he took him through was one that no you you could not imagine that hey god was in the midst of that <laughs> god you used that situation to bring yeah. him there no man Lord, but you, your God, you could do it this way. You could uh, bring him on chariots and thing into he the chose land. The path. But <laughs> he chose that path for a particular reason because he is God. And, yeah. and that's what he wants us to get a hold of. Hey, I am God and my will is perfect. I just want your agreement with me. Submit to me, agree with me, and watch my plans come to fullness in the land. You know, it, it, it's amazing to think, um, just to know this. I mean, it's, it's comforting to know. But uh, when you're going through it, yeah. Um, it's difficult because mm -hmm. imagine you're standing before the Red Sea and, mm -hmm. and the army pursuing you <laughs> and you crying out to God and God said, go forward, go forward where? The sea was water, <laughs> the water was drunk. But he saw the path, he directed their steps as to where they should go because he knew exactly how he's going to show his power in the midst of the sea. Mm -hmm. he, God is amazing. You, people, you can't, we can't box God. We try too many times, but he mm -hmm. broke the box. You can't box him in. You can't tell him it should be this way. No, no, no. He's wise. He's all wise. Yeah. And, 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 and any wisdom that amounts to anything really is the wisdom that he gives to us. Mm -hmm. So hear this, people. He wants us to 
the long and short is, trust me, I know exactly what I have done. Not even what I'm doing, but what I've done. And I, I love the, the, the point you give uh, reference to a persons coming to the earth already programmed for their generation. Yeah. He has already downloaded certain things. Many of you have children in your space. There are little mm. boys running around who are prime ministers, mm. <laughs> who would be judged, who would wow. be person um, uh, discovering mm. some things that is going to um, amaze the world. Right in, right a plane running around there, <laughs> you holding them in the arms. You don't know yeah. what program they're under yeah. by the divine mind yeah. for a specific time. It is amazing how God does these things. And so when we understand this, when we understand this, it's, it should be from us just giving thanks to God. I mean, he moved people from nation, from different cities. You're there in certain nation, and you're pulled to this nation. Not that you coming here is going to be, you're going to get much more money than you're working for. In many cases, for some people, is yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Wow, good. Wow, wow, wow. You're listening to me from another nation, so... And you're one of those persons, both a man and a woman. You're one of those persons whom the Lord has designed to be in this land. And you're looking at what you have to give up. You are looking at what you have to give up in comparison to what you would get here. I mean, the Lord is like, coming here is like nothing. Where I am, I have all of this. But you are restless because there's a pull in your heart that you must come to this land at this time. And you're thinking of, I have to uproot this, I have to uproot And in your own mind, you're trying to figure it out. You see, you see yourself as losing rather than gaining. You can never lose by obeying God. Yeah. Yeah. It may appear that way to you, but you can never lose by obeying yeah. God. It may look difficult in your natural thinking. But I say to you, sir, madam, this is the moment because... You were designed to step into the land at this point because of what God has deposited in you. There's room for you to help in the whole development of this great process of God. And so he's shifting you. And people, when the Lord began to shift us to geographical location, we need to understand. Once you know it's God, I'm not talking about you going because somebody said, wow, you get a lot of money there. And he, no, when the, you just know, I, I don't understand it fully. But movement, something is happening inside of me. I have to be at this particular place. It's in me. I don't know why. And he began to shift you, and he knows exactly. And so God began to shift things when the time comes for movement to happen, for certain purposes to be fulfilled in certain in a geographical location. He began to shift you because he understands exactly what he's doing. Don't resist God. Don't think that you're giving up more. You can't lose walking with God. You cannot lose obeying God. You have all to gain and you gain much more. Happiness, peace, rest. You, you, you would gain always more yeah. by obeying, yes. following the instruction given. You know, I looked at myself being here. And I, 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 I didn't have to be here today. With all of the circumstances and the valleys and the, the hills and the, the, the wilderness, but there was a power that was driving me forward. Wow. Irregardless of the circumstances. It's almost like it was irresistible. There was a power that driving me forward because there's a destiny to be fulfilled. There's a place, there's something that has to be done. And though God can use other person, when he said you, it's supposed to be done in you. Mm -hmm. he, it drives you forward. And, and now I'm understanding it much more than I did. And to you who feel the hand of the Lord on you to do a specific thing, whatever that thing is, obey God. Walk with God. Yes. Follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. And know this, you will come to a good end, yeah. a wonderful end. Yeah. Even though you're not able to see it and he's leading, follow him. His end is always the best end. Mm -hmm. And Father, we thank you today. Yes. We thank you that your word will not return to you void. Yes. It will accomplish what you please. Mm -hmm. And it will prosper in the things to which you have sent it. Thank you for speaking to us. We lift our voices to you this morning to say 
Thank you for hearing the prayer of your people. Thank you for speaking to us as a nation. Thank you, Lord, that you are the architect of Trinidad and Tobago. You've designed the nation for what you've designed it to be in the years to come, for your own glory and for your own purposes, Lord. We bless your name and we thank you for allowing us to share, Lord, in this great process of yours, working with you to advance your glorious cause in this nation. Thank you that it is not a failed state. Thank you yes, for letting us know that the highlighting of the weakness is to show us what needs to be strengthened. Yes. Thank you for the persons, your position, those who are on their way, those who are being stood even this very moment to step into positions that they were resisting. Yes. Now with the understanding that you yes. are leading yes. because you have a great plan that, yes, Lord, that has already been orchestrated. Yes. You're causing people to flow into that path. Yes, Lord. We thank you for removing this encouragement yes, and weariness. Yes, we thank you, Father God, for the strength, the faith yes, that is now arising yes, in the thank hearts you, of yes, people Lord. to yes. agree with you, thank the you. master architect, yes, the Lord. most wise, yes, who are full of knowledge. You embody the knowledge of all things. Thank you, oh, Lord. glorious thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your plan. Yes. They are wonderful. Thank you for your purposes. You, yes. They are wonderful. And thank you for the privilege to work with you in advancing your cause. Yes. So let your will be done yes, in Trinidad Lord. and Tobago. Yes, and yes, let Lord. your purposes prosper. Yes, let your Lord. design, yes. Hebrew, Hamanto, Ramanda, Jesus, yes, let your design roll yes, out in the Jesus. land, yes, oh Lord. God. Yes, we bless Lord. your name. Yes, Evil will yes, not overtake it. Yes, your purposes yes, will Father, shine like the yes, sun. That darkness will be, in. yes, will be dispelled yes, as you, your Lord. light yeah, yes, penetrates. Yes, oh, purpose Thank of you, God, Thank prosper you, in the nation, in the prosper Jesus, in yes, the Lord. generations yes, for, your glory, Jesus, yes, for your glory, Lord. Yes, for your glory, Father, for yeah. your glory. And we bless your name yes. and we thank you. And we thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, people, just bless his name this morning. Bless his holy name. The cause of the Lord is moving on. I is moving on I in the nation. Honor and praise and power and strength and dominion yeah. belong to the great and awesome God. So thank him this morning. Bless him. There's no God like him. He's mighty. He's strong. He's awesome. He's powerful. Nothing is impossible with God. Hold on to what he said. Believe him. Yes. Stay believing. He cannot fail. Yes. He would never fail. Yes. He cannot lie. Yes. It is impossible for God to lie. Yes. Therefore, great is God. Yes. Great is the Lord, Lord. Yes. in the midst of us. Yes. Yes. Great is the Lord yes. working in the midst of us. I say, great is the Lord working in the midst of us. Great is the work of the Lord yes. in the midst yes. of yes. Trinidad yes. and Tobago. Yes. Blessed be the nation of Trinidad yes. and Tobago. Yes. And yes. blessed be the Lord our God who is Hallelujah. working mightily Hallelujah. in the midst Thank of us. Lord. Well, TNT, time is gone. Oh, Amen. our time for today is over. <laughs> well, until next week, the Lord's willing, the same time and the same station. Stay with God and see him work. Amen. Trust the process and remain committed to his will. Well, TNT, till next week, Monday, same station, same time.